In this tutorial, we will be stamping things into a leather background. I've opened my background here. It's a 12 inch by 12 inch 300 ppi background sheet. And I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and type some text. on the new layer and we're going to press this into this leather background and we can do this with layer styles I'll begin with bevel and emboss let me zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're working on in the background I'm going to uncheck use global light and I'm going to change the direction to down so now it looks like it's pressed in. The lighter reflections are on the lower end. I'm going to change my highlight color to something oh, a little earthy. And I'm also going to change my shadow color to maybe a deep brown. I'm going to go to my blending options and I'm going to reduce the fill opacity to zero. Now you can see it's pressing it right into the background. Now I'll go to inner glow. I'll change this to a dark gray or dark brown. And I'll change the blend mode to multiply. I'll increase the size and decrease the opacity. Just gives it a hint of shadow. And now it's pretty well pressed into the leather. I can go ahead and save that layer style. Just click New Style and it'll add it to the Layer Styles palette. And I can continue playing from here. For instance, if I want to add a little more character, such as a texture, I'll just use some of these default textures. We can do that as well. We can increase the scale. Give a little bit of a softer but larger texture pattern. And decrease the depth. So it's just got a hint of some texture in there. Let me zoom in. If I like that texture, how that was applied, again we can turn that off and you can see it's very faint. We can save that as a new style also. Now maybe I want to alter the bevel a little bit. So I can increase the depth increase the size. I'm going to turn that texture off. Maybe I just want to soften the edges a little bit. So I can do that also. We can change the technique to chisel hard, chisel soft. We can also affect the gloss contour. Try some variations there. Maybe I'll decrease this soften a little bit. So when I change to chisel soft and decrease this softening a little bit, and move the size down to 5 pixels, let me zoom in a little bit. Especially on this A, now you can really see it. Now it looks like it's a rougher harder edge stamp almost with tool marks pressing that text right into the leather and again simply save the style so you can use it later so now let's say for instance I would like to use this on a shape that's applied to the same background I'll create a new layer 
Select the custom shape tool. I have fill pixels selected in the options bar. And now I can simply select a shape. It doesn't have to be one of these. It can be any shape you want. I'll draw that shape in the new layer. And now open my layer styles. And down here, these last couple layer styles are the ones that I just created. I'll just go ahead and click on one, and that layer style and that effect is instantly applied to that shape. And I can go through my variations as I like. If I simply switch back to the leather and say, oh, I want one of those previous, one of those other ones that I created, well, I can simply click on those, and that'll change as well. So that's how to quickly and effectively press letters and shapes into leather.